Well, I think that my, uh, my work is, uh, is a tremendous uh, advantage, really. I mean, uh, I've got the uh, office. It's right here in the rectory, and uh, I, I can help out with this <laughs> Andrew, baby day in and day in. I agree. Your work wouldn't pose a problem in sharing in child care. Far from it. So, are you saying that there is a problem? No, no, please not saying there's a problem. You no. both have been very open and honest. I have to be the same. Cassie, we've been talking for a long time, and there's one question we've been avoiding till now. Given your history, do you think you have the emotional stability to be a good parent to this baby? I'd like to, I'd like to respond to that. Now, my wife loves children. My wife loves children so much that it nearly destroyed her when we lost our Andrew. own. But it, did, it didn't, honey. As a matter of fact, she... Um, she had a terrible time. Anybody would have, Faith, but she has and come back. Faith, Honey, she came back from that and stronger and healthier and than Faith ever. Faith, ask me the question. Faith, there... There are no secrets here. I mean, after our son was stillborn, I didn't want to live. And when I found Beth's baby, I hung on to him like a lifeline. But the problem was, she took him back. And that was like a second death to me. Cassie, I, I, we don't have yes, to go do. through this. Yes. We don't. I was treated for serious psychiatric trauma. And I am still in therapy. Now, my depression isn't anywhere near what it was. But yes, there are mornings that I still wake up at 4 a.m. with this empty, aching void in my chest. And maybe that'll never go away. But Andrew was right about one thing. It has made me stronger. And I know that I can, and I will, be the mother this baby deserves. Absolutely. Yes. I appreciate your honesty, Cassie. Virginia. Um, good evening, Andrew. May I come in? Actually, no. This is not a good time. We are in the middle of, of our home study. Your study. Here, yes, Virginia? I know. That's why I'm here. I have something that might help. Hello, Virginia. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't understand. We're in the middle of. Yes, our... I know. And Virginia knows all about the home study. That's why she's here. Uh, Virginia, my questions are for the prospective parents only. Anything else? Just bear with me for a few minutes. Once Andrew told me that you were conducting the home study today, I took the liberty of informing certain members of the congregation here at St. James. Well, word went out all over town, and I do mean all over. <laughs> what? Letters, letters, hundreds of letters. Just 206, look at them, honey. Two hundred and six, I counted them. All of them from people who worship here and who know the carpenters. Faith, everyone agrees. Andrew and Cassie's adoption application should be approved. Andrew. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Oh, no, not really. There isn't one parishioner who doesn't think you two would make wonderful parents. Now, if that's out of line, you can blame me, not them. Oh, Virginia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, after all you've done for me and for my son, Billy, good luck. There's no denying the love and loyalty you inspire. All these letters are really very touching, but they won't have any effect on my decision. I've already made up my mind. We usually work with a profile in mind, the ideal adoptive parents. Obviously, you don't fit the profile. We love the little Cassie, boys. Cassie. Bit... We are trained to look for the warning signs and I don't have to tell you, there have been several. Cassie, you've acknowledged your emotional problems, not just with your own baby, the loss of your own baby, but the tangled relationship you had with Beth Garvey and River. <clears throat> Faith, that's in the past. I told you I've been working through those problems. Cassie, none of us can know for sure what will or will not happen. That's why the conservative decision would be to find another couple to adopt Beth's baby. But the conservative decision isn't always the right one. 
Another counselor might go with her head. I have to go with my heart. And my heart tells me you two are the right parents for this baby. Wait, Wait are you saying <laughs> what I think you're saying here, Faith? I'm going to recommend that you be permitted to adopt Beth Garvey's baby. Oh. We got, yes, we have a baby. Yes, we have a baby. Yes. Come in here so quickly. Pardon me? Well, I just, I just now left you a message on the machine. Well, I was out driving around, and I was thinking of you two, and I figured uh, I'd like to share Door's some open. good news. Doors open. It's the home study oh. oh. I see. It's you. Yes, it's me. You're not the only potential grandparent here. I have a vested interest in this baby, too. Yes, indeed. Now, is there going to be a baby? Andrew, please don't just stand there, say something. What happened? What did the social workers say? Gotta wait for Cassie, you know. Sloan, mother, mother, Cassie. I just left you a message on your machine. <laughs> well, I'm here. What? 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 Oh, Andrew, I guess we have to tell him. Yes, uh, Come darling, on, I think tools. it's only fair. <laughs> we are the proud parents of the most wonderful baby boy in the world. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. I know how much this means to you. More than I'll ever be able to tell you. Uh, Cassie? Yes? It's just wonderful news. Oh, Sloan, I didn't do uh, anything. You gave me a wonderful gift. Oh. Well, I hope this is going to be a gift that we can share. And that um, we can let the past be forgotten long enough so that the uh, two grandparents can hug. Hmm? Well, you know I'm a Virginian, and we don't forget the past, but... Because of this occasion. <laughs> Congratulations, Grandma. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who this could be because uh, there are no more grandparents left. <laughs> Mr. Garvey. Good evening, Andrew. I hope I'm not intruding, but uh, Faith called us with the news. Evelyn and I thought you and Cassie might like a visitor. Oh, oh Cassie. Come in, come in. We know some judge has to dot the I's and cross the T's, but River kept saying he just had to see his new mom and dad. <laughs> he absolutely insisted. Well, I knew it the first time I saw him. He's a born leader. <laughs> <laughs> Evelyn, you and Rod are a big part of River's life, and you always will be. Absolutely. We don't mean just babysitting. <laughs> Although you're welcome to help with that, too. <laughs> <laughs> anytime you want to see them, anytime. Oh, oh. Thank you, Cassie. But right now, Andrew and you need to get reacquainted with your little boy. <laughs> and he is your boy just as Beth wanted. Thank you. Thank, thank you. I, uh, we, we, we don't know how we're ever going to repay you. You already have, Reverend. Take good care of him. We will. We will. I promise. So long, yeah. Bye-bye. Right now. I feel blessed. That's the word, blessed. Well, then, I, I suggest that we express that. I mean, if that's, if that's okay with everybody here. It's... Oh, yes. I think a blessing is definitely in order. <sighs> <laughs> Dear God, we thank you for the life of Beth Garvey. And we thank you for letting that life live on in our hearts and in her child. And we thank you for the most precious gift of all, the gift of life. Amen. 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 Well, 
Now that you have done your job, Reverend, <laughs> beautifully, may I say, <laughs> it's time for me to do mine. <laughs> oh, oh, Doris. Oh. Mother, how did you know it would be good news? <laughs> well, I've been on a roll oh. lately, darling. Uh, Andrew, why don't you open it and um, I'll help with the glasses. Whatever you say, Grandmama. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sloane, you've been so quiet. Oh, I, I'm, I'm just uh, overwhelmed. Well, say hello to William Sloan River Carpenter. William Sloan? <laughs> the born leader needs the right name, don't you think? Yeah. Would you like to hold it? Oh, I'd be yes. proud to hold it. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, William Sloan. Thank you, Grandpa. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I want to rest for a while. <laughs> All right. Okay. We better hurry. I feel a toast coming on. <laughs> oh, Mother, don't you always? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to this wonderful, bright ray of sunshine in our family. And may he and all of us have long, happy, healthy lives. Hear, hear. Hear, hear. 